So week five. Week five. Well, episodes <laughs> 21 to 25 so we watched. Crazy stuff happened. Mm -hmm. What happened this week? Well, they the constable came and was like questioning things. And he doesn't think it's obvious that Burke did it. Because there could have been other reasons why he was looking at the car. Right. He was throwing out all these alternate solutions. Which, I mean, like that seems like something that like a, a defense lawyer or someone would do. Like, it's kind of his job to just figure out if there's enough evidence to arrest someone but they're not it's not his job to solve the but they're not going to bring in more people more characters and stuff to do that so he just kind of playing I guess. dual purpose he's kind of playing the detective yeah. instead of the yeah and then they went to get i know this is kind of later whatever but they went to get the wrench mm -hmm. and david was all freaked out about it because he kept asking if he can go to if he go to the person would go to jail. Yeah. And Victoria was thinking, I guess she didn't think anything of it at first, and then was starting to wonder about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so then he knocked it off the table and picked it up quickly, and they were mad at him because his fingerprints would be on it now. And Constable Carter was like, "Oh, at least we know why his are on there." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> um. And then the constable went and talked to Burke, and Carolyn came up. Oh, Carolyn was mad because Maggie had told her that Burke asked Sam to do his portrait, which meant he wasn't going away. Right. So she so went up there and, she, and confronted him. But she was he was just like, "Oh, my plans changed. Yep, I'm staying or whatever." So mm -hmm. he kind of brushed that off, but she wasn't very happy with well, him. Well, the constable wants him to stay anyway, too. Mm -hmm. So even if he wasn't planning on staying, which he clearly was, because he clearly set up the fake letter for her to find mm. and stuff so he clearly had no intention of leaving soon but now he doesn't really have much choice yeah and then the letter came back into play from the foundling house mm -hmm. and the fact that elizabeth wasn't really being truthful about, what was in the letter about the detective about the private about investigator detective, yeah but uh, and about how detective. and about how um no one had no one knew who who Roger had got the recommendation from. Mm -hmm. So Elizabeth told Roger to lie about it and say that he, he just had the recommendation from somebody else. Mm -hmm. And she, he wanted an answer from her, but she was like, no, it's private. I'm not telling anybody. What so, do you think's going on there? I don't know. What's her secret? Why does she want to keep this a secret? I don't know. Don't know. No trying theories. to think of like she could be her daughter or something, but right because they kind of built that up at the beginning, maybe. But I don't know. Does that seem too obvious? I think so. Maybe. And There's presumably some connection there, if... right? She's not because she would have heard of her somehow, and Victoria was getting all this money mm -hmm. from whom. And then David was trying to steal the letter, and he thinks his dad's trying to get rid of him, and she. Assured him that he couldn't even give him to the fouling home if he right, cause wanted to. Right, because both his parents are still alive, so <laughs> and he's not an orphan yet. So then she was kind of putting things together, like him asking if the person would go to jail, and him having the books about fixing and, I guess, taking things apart. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end, oh, and then he was, and he was worried the constable was there, and he was yes. just all jittery and whatever. And at the very end, she was looking for the letter that he went in and stole again, or tried it. <laughs> <Right. sighs> um, and she found the piece to the car. Yes, the bleeder mm. valve. I don't know why he would keep that. that might not have been a I'm, smart idea. I mean, he had it to plan on Victoria in the first place. But yeah, why would he have kept it after that didn't work out? Yeah. I mean, he's a kid. Yeah. I guess he's kind of smart, but not that smart. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> We'll see what happens now that she found that. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything with Maggie and Sam really this week? No, just that Maggie, significant... just that Maggie gave that information to Carolyn. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. Any uh, predictions next week? I did predict well last you pre week. Yes, you did a really good job. Mm -hmm. You predicted that Victoria would find the the bleeder valve, mm -hmm. and that would be how we move forward towards David being revealed as the. The attempted murderer. <laughs> so I don't know what they're going to do with him when they find out. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can't presumably send him away. I mean, that's half of Victoria's job is teaching him. So would she be mm. sent away too then, right? So they can't really do uh, that. That's, that's her whole job, is it? What's her, what's the... To be a companion to Elizabeth. Was she? I thought she was yeah, just... I think so. Oh, I thought she was just a companion for David and... 
I'm Tudor. I don't remember him saying that. Oh, maybe I'm making things up. Happens. <laughs> maybe. Uh, well, maybe part of it's too, so that Carolyn can leave. Mm-hmm. So that she's, so she's kind of... Yeah, so yeah. she's like a companion for Elizabeth. Right. So whether she's actually her daughter or not, she's kind of her daughter, daughter like mm-hmm. fake daughter, if she wanted to have someone around. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, that's all. That's all. That's all we got. See you next week. <laughs> Bye. I almost said it was like, is that your space?